Trek girl, and I know you've all been waiting to backtrack and talk about Rocket Lab once again. So in today's video, we will be going over Rocket Lab and what they have been up to recently here in January of 2022. So Rocket Lab, I think they have finally decided that it is in the best favor of their warrant holders to go ahead and extend that warrant redemption. Now, I did touch base on the warrant redemption and um, couple videos back and I hope you all heeded some of my advice because if you didn't go ahead and redeem those warrants back then, well, you might not be getting as much bang for your buck now considering the share price as well kind of been dropping. So according to this uh, article here, uh, Rocket Lab has extended the redemption uh, for the warrants to the date of January 31st. Now my friends, January 31st has come upon us, so you have until 5 p.m., uh, you know, on the market trading day of Monday to go ahead and redeem those warrants. Otherwise, you will only be getting like 10 cents per warrant, which is basically chump change. So please redeem your warrants if you haven't already done so. Otherwise, at the end of uh, 5 p.m. tomorrow, the 31st of January, you will not have the option to do that. You know, if you didn't redeem those warrants back then, you're kind of in a pickle now, so you need to decide, do you want to go ahead and, and lock in some loss? Um, that's going to have to be a personal decision on you because, you know, it's getting down to the wire now and, uh, you know, you, you're, you're just going to have to take what you can get at this point. Um, moving on, Rocket Lab has apparently been doing drills for their helicopter recovery catches for Electron. Now this is really exciting because that tells me they're warming up and they are anticipating on possibly finally doing a helicopter catch of Electron maybe as soon as this next launch. Now I'm just gonna like, you know, keep my mouth shut on this one and I'm not gonna like say for sure that they're gonna do it on the next launch because several times I have really thought they were gonna do it and they kind of didn't do it so I don't know maybe the time that I don't say that they're gonna catch it they will probably catch it on the one time that I decide not to mention it so maybe that's how it's gonna go we will have to see but uh, definitely keep an eye out for Rocket Lab to go ahead and do a first official catch of their electron rocket with a helicopter here in 2022. Now, Rocket Lab did announce that they are shifting back their next uh, electron launch to February 14th. Now, you know, Rocket Lab and Black Sky, they have such a, a beautiful relationship. I really think that the reason why they decided to move it to Valentine's Day was simply to commemorate the the love and support that they share for one another. Um, they, they do such a great job. They make such a great team with, with the satellite launching and all that. So I, I just think, you know, um, that this Valentine's Day is going to be absolutely spectacular for those two lovebirds, uh, Rocket Lab and Black Sky. And I'm really excited to see uh, this mission that's coming up. Now, another thing that I would like to go over with you is the share price yes i know it's been a little disappointing lately um but you know it is what it is the market is what it is right now we've officially entered correction territory so can it go lower what are my thoughts on that yes it it could go lower you know i don't want to be the bearer of bad news but yeah there's a possibility it can go lower um however the good news is for those of you that are long holders like me, the share price going lower might be what we want because we can bring down our average, we can get even more shares, and we can really stock up for when we think this company is really going to be ramping up as far as revenue and profits you know, within this next decade. So for those of you especially that are holding it in your retirement accounts, good for you. Do not see this downward spiral as, you know, a complete disaster. Look at it as this is a buying opportunity. But also keep in mind, 
only buy what you're willing to not see for quite a few years because this market is on shaky ground. You know, could we have a market crash? Yes, there very well could be a market crash considering we've had lots of melt up, you know, across many different economic areas. You know, you're talking from inflation, food, housing, everywhere. Could there be a market meltdown? Yes, there could be. But, you know, you gotta have some skin in the game, I guess, but you also wanna have a little bit of, of reserve fund on the side as maybe like a mini war chest in case this does continue to drop lower. Never invest more than what you're willing to kiss goodbye for a while. So that is my advice to you right now, especially in today's market conditions. Um, so definitely consider, you know, averaging in, okay? Don't just plop all your money into Rocket Lab or any other stock all at one time. You know, you just kind of want to take little nibbles, and little, little bites, little nibbles and hold on tight. Um, now, another thing that I think Rocket Lab has been working on that they might possibly be talking about soon, I've heard some things from through the grapevine that um, Rocket Lab has been looking for that base on which to build their new neutron rocket and to launch it. So, you know, I don't think they're going to be using the Wallops Island facility uh, in Virginia simply because that is more geared towards Electron, okay? And as far as their facility in uh, New Zealand, I do not think that they are going to be building Neutron there. I, I don't think they're going to do that. However, I have come across a few clues on where I think they might possibly be basing Neutron out of. Keep in mind, this is all a hypothesis, okay? This is not, this is not, you know, factual at this point in time. Um, this is simply my thesis. However, I was right on a couple of my theses before in the past when I said, hey, listen, I think Neutron is going to have an automated landing. I've said that several times before they revealed anything about Neutron. I said, you know, this whole helicopter catch thing with Neutron, I just, I'm not seeing that. Let's be realistic. You know, I, I, I predicted that automated landing. You know, if they're going to be competing with the likes of SpaceX, they have to have that technology. And I just, I saw that automated landing technology, especially with their acquisitions that they were doing recently, the automated landing made sense. Now, here is my prediction for where I think Rocket Lab is going to base their new neutron facility. I could be way off, okay? But this is my prediction. I predict that it will be the Sunshine State in the USA. I'm predicting Florida. So why am I predicting this? Well, let me go ahead and show you an article that kind of gives a hint that they left an open door. They previously looked at Florida before for their electron launches, right? But then they decided against it and they decided to go for um, a place where they could do more frequent launches and all that. So then they picked Wallops Island, Virginia. However, they left an open door for a place in Florida and maybe that open door was kind of left cracked for the development of Neutron. Now this article was written uh, back in 2018 in Florida today, but I do believe it's relevant today. Now the reason why uh, Wallops Island, Virginia was chosen for the Electron rocket instead of the Space Coast is this, um, because it was said that the Cape is very, very busy out there, said Peter Beck. And uh, that was one of the key critical implications for choosing Wallops was relatively silent nature of the site of Wallops Island. So Peter Beck chose Wallops Island because he felt it would be best to do the more frequent launches there for Electron. However, it gets really interesting um, when later on in the article, Peter Beck talks about uh, you know, leaving the door for Florida open for future launch complexes down the line. For instance, right here, it says that Beck didn't rule out the possibility of establishing a Florida site down the line for missions needing to launch closer to the equator. That will be Launch Complex 3, he suggested. So think about it. Launch Complex 1 is in New Zealand, right? Launch Complex 2 is Wallops Island, Virginia. So right here, Beck is suggesting Launch Complex 3 will be in Florida. Now, Launch Complex 3, from what I gather, can be no other than Neutron, the, the development and the launching of the Neutron rocket. 
Now, could Beck and the, and the Rocket Lab team have changed their minds since then? Yes, they could have, but I do believe that this clue could be viable today in guessing and figuring out where Peter Beck will be choosing to launch Neutron from. So let's go uh, see if they decide to do that. I don't know, this is just a hypothesis, but again, uh, I was right about the automated landing. Let's see if I'm right about this one. And if I'm wrong, you know, cool, it's fine. I just, I just wanna see what you all think about this hypothesis. And where do you guys think uh, Rocket Lab will be building and flying Neutron out of? Do you think it's gonna be in the United States? Do you think it's gonna be Florida? Do you think it's gonna be another state? What are your theories on this? So let's get a good discussion going down in the comments below and see what you think about the big news on Neutron. Where is this Neutron gonna be flying from? And uh, so we will uh, take a deep dive into that. And uh, thanks again for joining me for uh, an episode on Rocket Lab. And if you all think that I should do an episode on Rocket Lab, every week, just like I, I do a Space Day Sunday, let me know in the comments below. I think that you all love hearing about Rocket Lab and you would like to give Rocket Lab its own special day, right? So we already have a Space Day Sunday. Let me know what you think about having a Rocket Lab day where all we do is talk about Rocket Lab on top of having our Space Day Sunday. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Are you for a Rocket Lab day? I'm waiting to hear from you. Until next time, live long and prosper.